Unbelievable pictures. Two teen boys stranded 8,600 feet above the valley floor. We thought we were, we could walk across a ridge. When we got up there and saw the other side, it was heartbreaking. That's when we realized we we're in trouble. 16 year old Austin Deschler was camping with his family in the Sierra Butte Saturday when he and a friend decided to climb up to one of the tallest peaks. As we went up there, we made decisions to get up that ended up making it so we couldn't get back. Austin and his friend found themselves stuck on a 10 foot wide ridge, thousands of feet high, and nowhere to go. You couldn't really move around that much, not safely. Fortunately, there was a lookout about 100 yards away where hikers spotted the boys and called 911. It was the most challenging that I've ever done in the 12 years that I've been in air operations. CHP flight officer David White led the rescue mission to get the boys down to safety. When you saw the helicopter, what was that like? It was relief. With daylight fading, the race was on to rescue the teens. But because the peak was so rigid, there was nowhere to land the chopper. So while hovering from above, officers dropped a cable with a hook on the end. This would be their harness, and they would have to attach it themselves. We lowered down the harness, which has instructions in it, pictures and text on how to install it and how to make sure it's on safely. Then we lower down the hook. But it wasn't smooth sailing from there. Wind gusts reached 25 to 30 miles per hour at the ridge line, making this rescue even more challenging. We had to make several attempts to get to them. We lowered the hook a couple of times, but the wind would blow us out of our position and we'd have to go back around and try it again. That was terrifying. By now, Austin's father had learned it was his son stranded at the top. And as the chopper circled around, he was watching from the ground, his son's life in the hands of complete strangers. It's my oldest son. And that, that doesn't come back, right? I mean, you don't recover from something like that. Nearly four hours after being stuck on the peak, the teens were rescued and a lesson learned. Definitely stay on the trail.